Garrett Duffy from Norcom's Reverse Mortgage Department explaining the obligations and repayment rules for a reverse mortgage. When someone takes out a reverse mortgage, the obligations are simple. Keep the home in good repair, pay the property charges including taxes and homeowners insurance on time, and finally, the home must remain the borrower's primary residence. A reverse mortgage comes due when the home is no longer the borrower's primary residence. This happens if the borrower passes away, the home is sold, or if the borrower relocates to a nursing home for 12 months or more. When the reverse mortgage becomes due, the heirs are in charge and they have multiple options. They may choose to sell the home, buy the home, or walk away using a deed in lieu of foreclosure. The heirs can buy the home by paying off the reverse mortgage with cash or by refinancing. If the heirs decide to sell, they have up to one year to sell the property. When they sell, the reverse mortgage is paid off at closing and any remaining equity becomes their inheritance. It is also important to know that a reverse mortgage has a non-recourse non protection which means that the borrower or the heirs will never owe more than the home's value. If the mortgage balance is greater than the home's value and the heirs have no interest in the home, they can do a deed in lieu of foreclosure and walk away from the property. It does not affect any assets of the estate and it is a helpful tool to move on because the property does not need to be sold before they can distribute other assets. Please call me with any questions.